Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and one. Uh, in this case, working on question number seven, uh, which is on energy, work, and power. Okay, that is November 2022 question paper. So we're going to quickly rush through the questions that we are given. Uh, 7.1, we are given in this case, uh, a crane hoists a mass of 250 kgs vertically upwards, okay, to a height of 15 meters, okay? Draw on 7.11, labeled force distance. So this is a force distance graph of the movement, okay? So I give it a hint there to use a scale of 1,000 Newton for every three centimeters. So this is force, okay? And on the distance, one meter to be represented by one centimeter, which is your distance here. All right, so remember, this is a force distance uh, or force displacement graph, okay? So this is what you're going to do. I'm just going to show you a sketch of what was going to actually happen in this case. All right, so I'm not gonna waste much time. Let me show you the ruler here. Let me take the ruler. All right, I just need this ruler here. All right, so let's see, guys. Okay, so this is it. All right, let's, see. okay, a little bit like this. Okay, so this was six point, oh, question seven. So this is question seven, not question six. All right, so we've got uh, 7.11. So this is force versus displacement. So we know this axis is for displacement, okay? So this axis is for the displacement, which is the distance. And uh, we are going to have for the force now, okay? So this is for the force. All right, so it's supposed to be something like this nature, okay? So what you're going to do in this case is you measure accurately according to your scale, okay? So this is your distance in meters. So we've got your distance in meters. Then this is your force in newtons, all right? So take note we are given that for force is every 1,000 meters is equivalent to three centimeters. So you are going to measure, let's say, uh, let me indicate this way. You measure from this point uh, to this point. This is your zero here. From this point to this point, maybe this is your three centimeters, okay? So this is three, uh, six, and so on. So it's going to be three, six, uh, nine, 12, and so on. So this is a difference. There's a difference of what? Three centimeters. So this is three centimeters in between. But this three centimeters, is equivalent to 1,000 Newton. So it means this is going to be 1,000 Newton for three centimeters. We've got 1,000 Newton, three centimeters, another 1,000 Newton, which means we are now at 2,000. So take note the force that we need, okay? We are given the mass. So what is going to be the force? Let's see if, if before we, we, we write everything there, let's know the force that we are supposed to have. Remember that force is equivalent. This is a mass times gravitational acceleration. So remember, we are given a mass in this case of 250 kgs, a mass of 250. So you multiply 250 times 9,8, okay? So that's 250 times 9,8. So if we multiply uh, 250 times 9,8, this is going to be 2,450 Newton, all right? So you are supposed to get rid to 2,450. So at least we must have 3,000. So this is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Remember each three centimeters, okay? So uh, to distance, we are given our distance here that is supposed to be 15 meters, but it's one meter for every one centimeter. So we are going to have 15 centimeters for us to have 15 meters because each meter is one centimeter. So let's say this is one here, this is two, this is three centimeters, four centimeters, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so you measure properly. All right, but as we are not writing as centimeters, we are writing as meters. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, up to, up to 15. All right. So what you do, you just join, okay? At 2,450, so it's going to be in between these, okay? In between, this is 2,000, this is 3,000. Remember, we have got three centimeters here, okay? We have got uh, three centimeters. So this is what you're going to do. Uh, you measure accurately, okay? So remember, if it is three centimeters representing uh, 1,000 Newton like this, it means each Newton, okay? Each one Newton is going to be represented by what we do not know. So this is going to be one over 1,000 times three centimeters, which is going to be 0, 0,003. So zero comma is just an approximation. You're going to approximate, guys. It's not going to be accurate. Maybe it's at this point, okay? At uh, 2,000, okay, maybe at this point, just before, uh, just after 2,000, maybe at this point here. That's where we are going to have uh, 2,450 Newton, maybe at this point here, okay? Then you join, okay? Up to 15 meters, and these two points, you just have to join them, okay? So this is 15 meters. To that point so it's going to be like this all right so like this all right then uh okay like this one all right where is my ruler now it's now down here all right let me just insert another one because the way our ruler it is now it is hidden now okay so this is it you join from 2450 direct at this point where these two meet, that is our complete diagram, okay? So it's going to be like this, okay? So this is your first uh, distance, okay? So this whole part here represents uh, the first distance in between this, okay? So these are the typical uh, questions and very, very important for you to understand. Okay, anyways, let's see the other part of the question, 7.12. Now calculate the work done from the graph, that graph that we had two marks for that. Okay, remember that work done is simply the area uh, below the graph. Okay, so this is going to be 7.12. All right, so we've got work done, uh, which is equivalent to area. Okay, so work done is equivalent to area. So the area, this is a rectangle that you have formulated. So that's length times width. Okay, so the length. We are taking this whole side, okay, the bigger side here, which is uh, 2,450 times the width from this point to this point is 15. So you multiply or simply force times distance, okay? So that's it, force times distance, which is area. All right, so you're going to multiply. Uh, if you multiply, it's going to be something like uh, 36,000. So that's 36,750 joules. Okay, so this is your work done. All right, so let's take the units uh, we are just given to calculate the work done. So you can leave it like this, or you can even convert this to kilo joules if you want. Remember that uh, kilo means times 10 to the exponent of three. Okay, 10 to the exponent of three. So to convert to kilo joules, you multiply it by the inverse of 10 to the exponent of three, thus you multiply by 10 to the exponent of negative three. So this is going to be 36 comma, if you multiply by 10 to the exponent of minus three, you obtain 36 comma 75, that would be kilojoules. Okay, so that was our work done in this case. Okay, so uh, I think this one is clear. Uh, 7.2, we are now given uh, that there is a motor vehicle, which travels at constant speed, take note, 100 kilometers per hour. Each hour, it's 100 kilometers. Okay, so the question is, to keep a speed constant, there's a force of 2,85 kilometers must be applied. Okay, so the question is, the speed, calculate the speed of the vehicle in meters per second. Calculate the speed, okay. So remember, this is kilometers per hour. So our speed is the velocity is 100 kilometers per hour means over one hour like this. So to convert to meters per second, it simply means you are going to convert 100 
kilometers to meters, of which kilo means 1,000. So that's 100 times 1,000. It is now in meters, all right? Over one hour in seconds. Remember that one hour in seconds is 3,600. So you're going to divide by 3,600. So your answer is going to be in meters per second, okay? So if you do this and divide properly, you are going to obtain 250 over nine, which is in meters per second. Or you can divide this as a decimal, that's 27,777 and so on, which is going to be 27,778 uh, meters per second. All right, so that's our speed or velocity. All right, uh, then on the other part, we could have calculated this in this manner. We could have used this formula. Okay, let me, uh, not a formula, but this conversion. Okay, let me just write it here. We could have used this conversion to say that a meter per second is equivalent to 3,6 kilometers per hour. So you must know this conversion because you're not even. One meter per second gives you 3,6 meter kilometers per hour. So if you are given 100 kilometers per hour, it means you're going to write it under kilometers per hour. You've got 100 kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to how many meters per second, we do not know. So you're going to simply divide this to 100, divide by 3,6. So it's going to be 100 divided by 3,6. Then it's now in meters per second. So if you divide this, you're going to obtain 250 over nine or 27,778 meters per second. All right, so that's another way that you could have used. Okay, on 7.22, we are now asked to calculate the power to maintain the speed. Take note that from your formula sheet, you are given this formula for power, that power is equivalent to the force that we are given times the velocity. But take note here, our force is given in a kilonewton. So if you use the kilonewton, it means you are going to obtain your power in kilowatts, okay? So it is going to be 2,85 in kilonewton times velocity, which is 250 over nine, or you use this decimal. I don't know which one you're going to use, but as for me, I'm just going to use 250 over nine, okay? So by multiplying these two, we are going to obtain our power as uh, 791, uh, seven, uh, 79, not seven, 79, comma, one, six, 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 and so on, which is going to be 167. Remember, we used the force in kilo newton. So our answer is going to be in kilowatts. All right, if you were to convert this to normal Newton, which you, you we multiply by 1,000 here, you are going to obtain uh, 2,850 Newton, okay. Which means if you are to use 2,850, you are going to obtain your power as 7,179, uh, sorry, 7,9 here, that's 7,9166,667 watts then you convert this one to kilowatts if you want, or you just write your answer like this, okay? So like I said, it's a matter of conversion. If you can leave your answer like that uh, before the conversion. Okay, so that was the question on energy, uh, work and power uh, from uh, November 2022 question paper. So that's it uh, for now, till we meet again.